tanks will take over this world and the Nexus. Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, and today we're going to talk about how tanks are becoming OP in the next patch that's going to be released for Heroes of Storm. The tanks that became OP are Shen, Diablo, ETC, and Stitches with all his bitches. Blizzard did give him a buff, which is kind of... Wasn't expected to be honest, but it did happen. So let's go through the buffs for each of those heroes. First one being Shen, the fortifying brew for Shen's trade did get a shield amount increase from 20 plus 12 per level to 33 plus 10 per level, which will pretty much make him more irritating in the early game. His flying kick ability did get a speed increase by 20%. His kick smash slow didn't get increased to three seconds. And also his two heroic abilities have no brute cost and also, his Wandering Keg cooldown is decreased to 70 seconds, which is amazing. The second hero that got buffed was Diablo. His trait Black Soulstone, maximum health gain per soul, increased from 0.15% to 0.2. His Shadow Charge ability, range increased by 15%, and also the stun duration has been increased to 1 second. So pretty much that will help him gank a lot more because of the stun being increased and pretty much make him more of a ganker as a war um, ganking warrior. Uh, fire Stomp damage increased from 30 plus 9 per level to 33 plus 10 per level. So it's actually more useful and the mana cost has dropped to 40. The third tank that is OP is ETC. His base health stats have been increased from 1040 plus 240 per level to 1050 plus 250 per level. And also his power slide ability Stun duration has been increased to 1.25 seconds. Face melt mana cost decreased from 60 to 50. His cooldown decreased from 12 to 10 seconds. And also his guitar solo health increased to 27 plus 6.5 per level. The reason why this happened, the developers want ETC to be picked as a viable main warrior to stop other people's CC or disrupt enemies with his face melt and power slide abilities. Which is a very useful thing in Hero League if you have a, a Hero League or Team League. ETC might be a very strong pick in the next patch. Finally, but not least, Stitches did also get stronger. They've tried to make him stronger in the past, but that didn't work out too well. Hopefully with this patch, he does get seen in competitive play once again. His Slum Ability's mana cost has been reduced to 40. The Devourer's mana cost has reduced to 55. And his cooldown for it has been reduced to 20 seconds. And the Gorge Heroic Ability duration increased to 4 seconds and the Stitch's movement speed is no longer reduced while using Gorge. And the point of this was trying to make it stronger against Mages, but he also lost his regen build. But because of the health stat upgrade, they're trying to use Devour and make it more effective and pretty much make it more of a reliable pick in competitive play. I'm hoping to see him in competitive play because I love Stitches and his utility for the team. But I just don't see him working out at all. And that's kind of sad. I miss you, Stitches. Within this video, I talk about the main components of the patch for the buffs of the tanks. But also, the tanks did get reworked with their talent system. But that's not too much to take in consideration because they still got buffed nonetheless. And those were all the tanks that got buffed for the next patch. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.